So hey guys, here's a new video and as you can see I've just barely logged in. Um, I haven't been really active lately simply because uh, I've been busy. Is really, that's all there has been to it, nothing else really. Um, so today is a special event, it's finally been released. These uh, Itachi and uh, Shisui combination card. I know it says Sasuke Uchiha and Konoha na Jonin, protection of Konoha. Um, but really, it's, um, Chisui and Itachi. Now, uh, how do you get this? Um, basically, what you have to do is, uh, recharge 20k. So, let's do the math very quickly. Keep in mind, this is rough math. Um, you could probably, um, refine it a little better to suit your needs. But this is roughly the amount that you're gonna have to pay to get the, the card. Um, keep in mind, you can only get it today. So, it has to be done all in one go. So it is um, 20,000 divided by 6,200, which is the max amount that you can recharge, keep in mind. So that's uh, $600 more or less because you get a little over, so let's see, 6,200. Let's see, 600, plus, no, times three, that's 18,000. Plus 3,100, that's a little over too much, so 1,900. Okay, so six hundred and sixty dollars, more or less. Um, that's how much you have to pay to get the Chisui and the Itachi combination card. So the skill is called Amaterasu Kotomatsukami. Uh, release Kotomatsukami to one enemy with high possibility to hit, lasting for two rounds. Um, Deek Genjutsu attack. I don't know what that means. Uh, with additional ninjutsu and genjutsu attack to all enemies, causing a matarato effect to enemies hit until death cannot trigger backhand. So basically what this means is that this is a card that will deal um, a confuse, and then it would also deal a... Um, not only a confuse, but it's going to deal something else, which is a matarato, which is a DP, D, DOT, damage over time. So it's going to really set the uh, Amaterasu and the um, Confuse with a very high possibility. Now, um, this also has the ability to release Kaguya Stun. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Kaguya, here I'm going to show you a very quick battle with her. Event. Let's see, let's find her. Okay, so this is it. Keep in mind, so demo version is the one that you can do for free. The other one, uh, that one actually you have to pay for it. Um, to get the first ticket, it's 210 gold recharge, I believe. I think you can also get it from consumption, um, but that's besides the point. So this is just to give you a quick show of how um, you battle her, I guess. It's, I mean, this is not the ideal team. Please keep in mind, um, I definitely, definitely have something else in mind when it comes to doing damage. But once she's unsealed, she's going to release something. There you go. That thing which makes her immune to all statuses. Now, that's very annoying because, well, um, because of her immunity to all, nearly all statuses, uh, she can't be stunned. And if she can't be stunned, uh, she's going to keep on attacking you. And while she doesn't do a lot of damage, she has this annoying tendency to basically weaken you. And she also has the ability to go ahead and stun you continuously for... An indefinite amount of time so really it's in your best interest just to um, have Shisui in there just in case she releases uh, she releases her attack because Shisui is one of the few cards who can actually unstun himself and unstun the uh, unstun her shackle basically um, she he doesn't unweaken you unfortunately but he does uh, unshackle you basically so she, as you can see, she has a very high amount of defense. Um, so yeah, this is going to be interesting uh, how to deal with this, basically. Uh, I'm going to have to come up with a strategy. Uh, it's going to be easier now because we have cards like the Naruto Hinata combination card, which just straight up, straight up ignores the passive, her passive, and gives you the ability to possibly um, just seal her passive completely. But it's going to be a tricky thing to deal with. Um... I'm definitely going to make a video because this event, the Kaguya event at the very least, is going to be very long. I'm going to do a video on how you can do a lot of damage. Um, 
But yeah, hopefully I can find a very solid strategy. I have one in mind, but I'm not quite sure whether it'll work or not. Um, it just really depends on what sort of buffs they gave to Kaguya here. Um, but anyways, so the like I said, the Shisui um, diamond card, basically gold card, can actually uh, uh, get rid of her stuns. So that's good. And because Shisui can do it, that means that, means that any combination card that Shisui is a part of can also do it. So once again, that's very, very good. But I'm just going to be going to let this go ahead and finish. I'll check the, um, not the combination, but the uh, consumption in a second to see how much consumption it is to get things. But yeah, as, as you can see, the stunning is very annoying. And she has a massive, massive amount of defense and a lot of HP also. Um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of strategies, but the one, best one that I've found that n not the best, the most reliable the one that I've found is usually using a Mike guy uh, diamond with his skin and all of his items because he'll do a lot of damage and he, he won't always get stunned. He can put up a shield. Now, this is a damage competition, so keep in mind keep this in mind uh, when it comes to the Kaguya thing. I know I kind of just glossed over the combination card. But I'll get right back into it in a second. I really want to get rid of, not get rid, but really explain the Kaguya event properly. So the Kaguya event, like I said, this is a damage competition. You're going up against everybody in the all in the entire game. All of the servers are going up against each other. Now the person who does the most damage out of all the servers is going to get a lot of items. And these items are very, very good. I know this because last competition I won. I got lucky with my strategy and I dealt a lot, a lot of damage. Now here's the thing. Uh, it's not only you're not only going up against everybody. It's not a free for all. It's not only a free for all. You're also going up against specifically the members of your server. So in your own personal server, uh, be it server one, server two, server eleven, doesn't matter. In your own personal server, the one person who gets the most of the amount of damage done will get six thousand gold, two thousand seal stones, fifteen ninja spirit, five thousand five hundred. I mean not five thousand, five hundred wipeout coupons. 50,000 rare ore and toad sage pack times 80. Um, so this is very good. Now, only the top three can get any significant amount of rewards. Now, anywhere from top 11 to 20 will get some rewards, not as many as obviously the top 10. But if you just participate, you're going to get 18,000 gold, not 18,000, uh, 1,800 gold, 300 seal stones, 5,000 rare ore, and 240 stamina with 200. <laughs> so I'm sorry, uh, that was weird, uh, with 240, 200 wipeout coupons, so that's very good, um, so yeah, I have all of these items, I'm going to be doing a showcase tomorrow, um, definitely, uh, the reason I'm not doing it right now is because I feel like there is probably a lot to cover uh, without even just mentioning the items, but if you want to know who's dealing the most damage, just go to all servers, and it's going to say there, as you can see, number one right now is apparently... Uh, Indra with uh, what appears to be, let's see, 3.8 3, 3 million. Eh, that's a little. 38 or 3.8 million. I don't know which one. Let's see, 3. Oh, three, yeah, 3.8 billion. Huh, let's see, that's 5. That's 3. That's another 3. That's another. Yeah, 3.8 billion. Which isn't that much, um, quite honestly. Uh, but. <laughs> Because last time we did a lot more, I think I got to 50, a couple of billion, I don't know, 15, I think. So, I mean, eh, maybe I'm just shit talking, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, if you want, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, before I go even go into, like, the, the main events, keep in mind that this event's going to cost a lot of money, um, a lot of gold. This is one of those events where um, heavy, heavy consumption is required if you want to get anything here. So, just keep that in mind. Um... But let me see, uh, I'm going to collect my reward here. Uh, in the last one, you could get a ticket to fight Kaguya for free. You just had to get a consumption reward of a certain amount. But I don't seem to see it. Hmm. Mangekyo, Sharingan, Itachi, and yeah. Can't seem to find it. So yeah, the only way that you can get a ticket to fight Kaguya, as far as I can tell, is through recharging. Today you can only get one ticket, which is uh, uh, for 220 gold recharge. I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. Let me see if I can do that. No, I can't. 
Uh, I was gonna say if I could do it in video, but I can't because I'd have to put in personal info, which mean which is a big no no. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so to recap, the combination card is gonna cost twenty thousand dollars, not twenty thousand dollars, goddamn, uh, six hundred and sixty dollars more or less. Um, basically recharge twenty thousand gold. Um, yeah, I'll cover more of the rest of the events apart from the consumption. Uh, but yeah, today I'm only going to recharge 20 gold, uh, because of the Kagoya challenge certificate. Um, I believe that the most you can get throughout this entire event, which means, uh, from now until Monday is, uh, seven, no, not seven. Yeah, seven, uh, seven, is it seven? Yeah, seven certificates, uh, if you only spend a hundred dollars each day. But if you recharge 20,000 gold each day, which, holy shit, you're rich, um, you get basically nine, ten chances throughout the entire event. So I guess that's cool, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so that's really the event. Um, once again, I'm sorry for really not, I don't want to say abandoned, abandoned you guys for a couple of days. But yeah, I mean... Yesterday was a concert, and oh my god, that was amazing. I got to see um, Brand New Live. I saw Modest Mouse also, and Modest Mouse was pretty cool, but I was really there for um, Brand New, and holy shit, they tore it up. Like, honest to god. <laughs> it almost feels like it's a bad thing that I went, because their normal songs are don't have the same energy as they do when they're live. Like, when they're live, like, it's just amazing. I was there, it was fucking great. I got to see them live. I was uh, in the general audience, in the crowd. It was just fucking amazing. Great energy. But, yeah, that's why I kind of didn't really upload anything yesterday. Um, I tried to upload the yesterday's video a day earlier, but my internet was just being shitty for whatever reason. Hopefully, I can upload this video today. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of why this is a little late, I suppose. Um, I'll really just cover the rest of this event tomorrow. I, I think I covered the biggest important thing, which is the combination card. Would I get this? Um, unfortunately, I can't. I don't have that sort of money to throw around right now. Um, yeah, it's it's very pricey, and it looks like it's going to be awesome. Um, what I'm honestly most excited for is when they're going to release the combination. Uh, not not the combination, the collection for both uh, Shisui and Itachi. Because I know there is a Shisui and Itachi com collection. So, I mean, I'm really excited for the, when they release that. But who knows when they'll actually do it. Um, really, that's about it for this part of the video. I'm going to go ahead and do daily Q&A. And, yeah, tomorrow I'll cover the rest of the event for sure. Um, but before I go, let me go ahead and do the daily Q&A. And then I can go ahead and just end the video. So, everything's down. Volume wise, I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, and before I get started, if you guys are curious about what I have with Pokemon Go, it's not really a Pokemon Go video. If you guys are curious, gonna go and show you. Uh, this is what I ra I've been catching. I'm level 13, and Pokemon, I have all these right now. Uh, this is my strongest right now. Uh, the Big Vape. I call him Big Vape. It's for ironic reasons, since he's extra small. I can. It's ironic to call him Big Vape. Yeah, originally he was Vape, and then I realized how small he was, and I called him Big Vape. It's a really good Pokemon, actually. Um, and a lot of people have um, Growlithe, or uh, Growly Micro Growly Face, as I call him. Uh, and they have the evolved version of this one. And the thing with that is, is that it's very common, and since it's so common, just having like a Vapron will really make you powerful. But anyways, let's get back to my video. Or at least in the area where I'm at. Uh, so, daily Q&A. And let's see. Uh, hope you have a good day soon. Thank you, Ethan. How did you find out about this game? Uh, Brian, a long, long time ago, actually, about a year year and a half ago, um, I just saw it on Facebook, I decided to check it out, and I was instantly amazed by it, um, that was back when it was still in Google Play, um, I was just in love with it, and I made a lot of mistakes, like, a lot, a lot of mistakes, um, for example, I thought that you had to use a Ninja Dog Park every time you used the Big Toad Kichi to, to, um, upgrade your 
ninjas level. And so I wasted like 200 ninja dog park trying to upgrade my uh, Kakazu up to uh, level 100, which is obviously not possible, um, especially since he was purple card in his first form. So yeah, I didn't know jack shit, so um, I made a lot of mistakes, and from those mistakes I learned, and then I started making the video, and then it snowballed into this, yeah. Uh, that was one shitty day, mate. What did you do to piss off Karma Kick a Puppy or something? I was actually wondering myself, Matty. I, I was thinking, did I, did I like, piss off some witch? Did I, did I insult somebody? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know what happened. If the skill causes confusion, is it any good in the ninja world? Because I managed to gold my diva path. Um, Kelvin, so it used to be really good if you're, um, if you had confusion before. Shisui was basically, uh, the king of the freaking, uh, ninja world war. Problem is, is that doesn't work anymore because even if they have consumption, con confused, even if they're confused, um, their ninjutsu attacks have been basically nerfed against each other. <laughs> So they won't, they won't one hit KO AOE everybody. Um, it still works with their Taijutsu attack, but even then, just letting them live that long is very dangerous. Um, so yeah, consumption while semi useful is not very useful. You said Tobidama event gives more broken mass. Kashidama gives more summoning contract. Instead, is that an assumption or is it confirmed? Um, from what I've, from like the few times, basically, uh, from all the trials that I've done during the Hashirama and Togurama event, that's how it seems for me at the very least. I could be wrong. It could be completely different for everybody else. But from my own personal luck, that's how it's been. Um, I got a lot more summoning contracts during the Hashirama event, and I got a lot more broken mask during the Togurama event. That could just be me, though. Um... For Tobirama, is the space-time flying god slash a good active? Nope. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, jamper it. It's not very good. Um, honestly, just don't put passives on him if you have his headpiece and his, um, his uh, armor. Uh, can you get this game on Samsung Galaxy S4? Yeah, gamer, I'll send the link to you in a little bit. I have it somewhere, I just need to find it. <laughs> Information, what is the deploy effects reinforcement? I think that's only for iOS for now. <laughs> Sorry if I'm sniffling too much, um, but let's see. Formation, deploy, yeah, see, I don't see the deploy reinforcement things. <sighs> Let's see, um, forum, yeah, I don't see the formation thing, seal, inherit, breed, nope, feed, save, I guess, increase critical life, yeah, I don't see any deploy reinforcement option. Um, basically what it is, as far as I can tell, and from what I've seen from screenshots, uh, from other players, um, basically it's, uh, um, CP reinforcements. Uh, what that means is that you'll get more CP by putting cards in there, from what I can tell. I'm not quite sure how it works. As far as I can tell, it's not an Android, so it's probably only an iOS thing for now. Yeah, sorry. Can't really help you out, man. Yeah, see, you said formation. I went to formation. And there is no option for deploying reinforcement. Or not one that I can see. So, yeah, sorry, man. I'm going to go ahead and close that because I keep on clicking it. Um, Let's see... Yeah, see, what is deploy reinforcements? Kirito, Alex, I'm sorry, guys, I can't really give you an answer because I don't have it in my own. How do you feel about Madara? I need 13 more cells, just wanted to know your opinion. Um, Alex, Madara is fine, even in his purple card form, but if you want to train him up or get him to gold, diamond, it's going to cost you a lot of money, man. So, 
yeah, just keep that in mind. It's like Panther Player says, if you're a free-to-play player, it's way too expensive. Um, but even if you pay to play, it's still pretty goddamn expensive. So that's about it for this game. <laughs> game? <laughs> no, that's about it for this video. Um, sorry that I couldn't really help you guys out with the deployment thing. I don't see any option for that right now. I'm going to be working on my strategies against Kaguya, see what works, see what doesn't. Um, but that's about it for this video. So leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you don't. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye.